Shalom. This is Taz Dak from the GMS Los Angeles camp coming back in the truth and the spirit of Yahweh. Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rakakdash. The bonus of the pastor and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salvation for the hopeful like Akim that's pushing this word of truth sincerity. So, you know, coming back to you for another one. All right. So it says JP Morgan is about to spend one billion on hundreds of rental homes across the US on his way to becoming a mega landlord. Oh, a big slum lord, man. Okay. So if you look at statistics, even by sight, you know, who rents more than they own? Israelites. The Israelites are the so-called Negro Latino Native Americans, all right? And Seminole Indians, they are classified as the poor. Okay, we are the poor of the earth. All right. So Esau, Edom, the so-called white man himself, is laying out this plan to control the rental homes. All right. So basically, they have a say so of who lives there and who's not. They're basically going to push Jake out. Okay. And they're going to have those outstanding rental hikes. Because it's not going to be a stabilization and rent and rent when you rent them homes or apartments. It's going to constantly go up every six months to a year. All right. They will keep hiking up the prices, man. You know, basically just robbing the poor, man, consistently. So it, 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 this has been happening through years with the Koreans, with the Chinese, um, with, the, with, the, with Amalek, the so-called Jews. You know, they've been like a they've been like a network of families been buying up these homes and renting them to Jake for outstanding prices, not even worth the price. OK, a lot of these um, slum lords out here, they don't even take care of their homes, man. It'd be rat infested, roach infested. Um, a lot of the a lot of the wood in the houses is deteriorating. And they don't want to pay, they don't want to pay the extra money to, to fix these problems. They just want to collect that money. So now you got JP Morgan Chase. It's gonna spend about a billion dollars of rent of rent of rental homes, man. Why? Because it's, it's a business. They're gonna to try to pocket money and steal from Jake. Okay, so let's get with the scriptures, man, because we already know where this is leading to. So so this is gonna to lead to the C hip, okay? It's going to lead to that, man, because as you know, December 13th, the, um, it, the systematically is going to go digital. OK, and and the ones that's renting these homes and these apartments is Jake. OK, they this is a trap, man. OK, as you know, when Jake buys houses. Right. And, you know, they, they got that 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 um, that that debt um, that debt. Okay, that um, what they call it um, the mortgage, <laughs> and you know they get caught in a snare, you know that net, you know. So, is this gonna be two two twenty twenty three is gonna be even more difficult for you so called Negro Latinos and Native Americans? So let's get with the scriptures, all right? This is um, I just, um, Second Corinthians two verse eleven, all right? Second Corinthians two verse eleven. All right, and it reads, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So the Satan is talking about right here is the, the, the embodiment of Satan is the so-called white man Esau Edom. J.P. Morgan Chase is one of the elites, bankers, okay? They all, this is a big umbrella, man, the elites, all right? All right, so the, the, the embodiment of Satan, our adversary, is the so-called white man Esau Edom. That's what Satan means. It means adversary. All right. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So we don't lack knowledge of the so-called white man and his plans to, cre what? to create that enterprise, that new world order. See, they try to take over everything to centralize everything. Okay. The scripture says, man, in Deuteronomy 28, we should go to the enemy for the want of all things. But the, but, but the, what the elites want is complete control. So right now, they devising. See, J.P. Morgan Chase is not going to be the, it's going to be, it's going to be a domino effect. It's going to be other bankers, man, getting into this. Okay? 
for they have complete control of these homes and apartments. Okay? Don't be surprised what's going to be in there. Don't be surprised there's surveillance in there. Don't be surprised by these things. Okay? What they're doing is rounding up Israelites, man, to keep account on them. That's what's going to roll here, man. It's going to lead up to one thing. It's going to lead up to what? The, the Karagma. Okay? So, right, so I'm not caught up by the hype of these, um, these, um, these entertainer, these entertaining Israelites out there, you know, trying to make a quick buck, man, because we already know what side you win, okay? This is the reason why they preach against the Karagma, all right? So let's get with the next scripture. This is Isaiah 32, verse 7. This will be a quick lesson, all right? Just want to report the news in the news, all right? This is Isaiah 32, verse 7, and it reads, um, The instruments also of the church are evil. He devises wicked devices to destroy the poor. So the churl means scoundrel, okay? A churl is another word for meaning scoundrel. So who the top scoundrel of this planet is the so-called white man Esau Edom, all right? All right? So he using this device. To buy up all the apartments and homes and, and, and be a mega landlord. You hear that? A mega landlord, meaning complete control of, of living. Okay? So called white man has complete control of the natural resources. They have complete control of these people, man. These dumb minded people out here, man. But he don't have complete control of the elect. Because the, cause the scriptures say, None, none, um, I'm just roughly paraphr paraphrasing. Shall no one shall pluck them out of my hand, man. Okay, so let's read Isaiah 32, verse 7. The instruments also the church are evil. He devises wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words, even when the needy speaketh right. All right, so what he doing is evil. I got the proof because when you um get these homes, you have to um borrow money, you have to get a loan. Okay. To meet certain um, requirements and stuff, you gotta get along, right? So this is a law, but we know the so-called white man doesn't follow law because the laws weren't given to him, okay? But this is part of the law right here, all right? And but but these elites, J.P. Moore, they they call themselves Jews, okay? So they know they they should know this scripture head on. This is Exodus 22, verse 25. I think that's what it is. I had it here. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. If thou, if thou lend money to any of my people that is poor by thee, thou shalt not be to him as an usurer, neither thou shalt lay upon him usury. And, and everybody knows this is one big net to catch people, Okay. To people, to put people in a bind where they have no choice but to borrow more money. <laughs> it's like it's like a you you in a never ending rat race on a on a hamster wheel, trying to survive. And so called Negro Latino Native American who are the Israelites according to the Bible, okay, they on that that rat race, okay? They like Duracell energy Duracell or energize their batteries until they die and they get replaced with more. <laughs> That's what it is, man. So what the so-called white man doing by lending you money, then charging you more with interest? That's usury. Okay, that is usury. All right. So let's get with the next scripture. This is um Psalm the tenth chapter, verse two. All right, Psalms ten verse two, and it reads: The wicked in his pride do persecute the poor. And I tell you now. 2023 is going to be one hell of a year, man. It's going to be really rocky, okay? You're going to see a lot of things being, a lot of laws being passed, okay? So, Psalms 10, verse 2, The wicked and his pride do persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. So, guess what? We're going to suffer for a, we're going to suffer for a short time, but guess what? We're going to win in the end, okay? Remember that we are going to win in the end. So the Lord's gonna the Lord's gonna destroy them, man. Okay? They think they're gonna have it all, but in the last second, the Lord gonna put a foot on right on their ass, man. Period. 
Okay, that's what's going to roll here. All right, so let's get with the next scripture. Some let's get a comforter scripture, a comforting scripture. I'll go put the last one. This is um Psalm 70, 72. Psalm 72, verse 4, and it reads, He shall judge the poor of the people. He shall save the children of the needy and shall break in pieces the oppressor. Okay? The Lord is going to save his elect, man, period. That's what's going to roll here. All right? But prophecies needs to come first, man. All right? You already know, World War III, Jacob's Trouble. The, the hour of temptation, the karagma, you know, that's what's going to roll. But the Lord will save us, man. He's going to save the elect of Israel, man. All right, so I guess we want to do a quick lesson on that. Really, you know, real fast, you know, the, the news that's out there, the plans of the so-called white man Esau Edom, what he's doing. All right, so um, we will give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakadash. Hey, double honor to the pastor and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation for the whole for like Akium that's pushing this word of true sincerity. Today in another video, Shalom.